Hello, I am Yet4455, and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2, uh, episode 7. So last time in our miracle or in our marathon game, we finished up the Trouble Zoos, and we got whatever the prize was for that. So we're going to go to the next phase in the campaign, which is uh, Prevent Troubled Zoos, and we're going to do the African Elephant Rescue. Uh, so it says that it's an easy game. We start with $10,000, which I believe is fine. Um, let me just double check everything, make sure everything is working. Do, 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 do. All right. All right, Twitch app. I just streamed. I know the key is good. I'll check you in a bit. Anyway, we're just going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, it'll pop up eventually, I'm sure. Sometimes I don't think the Twi Twitch app on my phone actually works. Sometimes it's weird. There we go. Okay, it is working. All right, a group of African Africans was scheduled to be called in the kingdom of Dutu Elephant over Providence. They have then offered to the zoo that creates the best and most suitable habitat for the animals. Hello. Uh, one creative African has been delivered to your zoo and can be found near the front gate. Create a wildlife exhibit for the elephant and ensure that its basic needs are met. To do, you've given three more animals of mixed gender to help establish the thriving community. Okay, so they gave us an elephant. It is somewhere over here, and we have to create an exhibit to house the elephant and release it from its crate. Right. So there's the elephant. Now I need to figure out where to put the elephant. Now that... This area looks like it's going to be for the zookeepers, which uh, they have a staff center, which is fine. I don't even know. All right, those are hippos. I uh, have a polar bear. Yes. And what's in here? Kangaroos? Right. Okay. Do I really have two staff centers? What is the point of two staff centers? All right. Well, this one is being torn down. I will take the refund. All right. Well, let's just get started. <coughs> Okay, so African elephant. I mean, you can't reach the food. All right, how about I uh, smooth out the land? Will that help you access the food? I think it was just really hilly. I'm going to move it to the top of the hill. There we go. Now, if you can't get to that food, it's your own fault. All right, elephants, fences. Um, I am not going to put a dinosaur fence in there, so I'm just going to do a chain link fence. Uh, right. I think a chain link fence is fine. I believe I did it before. Um. Right, we're actually just going to get rid of all this stuff. Because we're going to make this into a pretty big exhibit for them. Elephants are big. They need a lot of space. Right. I think that's plenty big enough. You know, I'm actually going to move this maple tree to here. Maybe. I want to put it somewhere. I don't want it to go to waste. All right, maple tree. Well, you might be going to waste. Right there. Perfect. <coughs> All right, elephant. I'm just going to preemptively move you. All right. Then we have to create a scrub. Uh, yes, give me all the rocks, the trees, the plants. Make that bigger. Ooh, 
Ooh, I do want some dirt mixed in though. There we go. Alright. Then I am going to want a little watering hole. Here. Right. Food. Give you branches. Couple of things of branches. And you could get in from right there. Perfect. Alright, elephant. Open up. Uh, playful stuff. I don't need it. Alright. Updated off to you. Main African elements. That would do to do. Alright, so I have to keep the basic needs up. Um, can people view them? No. So I am going to need to redo this fence. And the possibility of making it a different fence type later. Um, housing, the shade tree looks fine. I do kind of want to expand this out though. Elephants are big by the way. So yeah. I think that'll do nicely. Place those. Alright. Give me that fence back. So I do gotta make sure that they always have enough space. <clears throat> right. Alright, so now I'm going to take away this fence, like that, then I'm going to make this go there, and I think I might expand this watering hole just a bit, like that. And I think I'll make this a little smaller. Like that. Perfect. Uh, we could add a couple more of these trees. Like that. A few more blades of grass. And a couple rocks. Just to even it all out. Alright, you definitely need a, something to play with, but I don't have much right now. <coughs> and we're just going for basic needs. All right, elephants. Elephant. And elephant. New objects are available for purchase. Good. Open you, open you, open you. Okay. Now I just have to start to meet all the needs. And in three months, they will be reevaluated. Excellent. Okay, so I do need something for them to play with. Unfortunately, all they have for that right now are apples. Unfortunately, apples do not give entertainment value quickly. So that is a big downfall of this. Hippos are okay. I think there's flamingos down here too. Yes. All right, can I, let me just pull up a list of all my animals. That one is not it. That one's it. Animals, all right, I got one polar bear, four elephants, a bunch of flamingos, a couple hippos, and kangaroos. All right. I do have food stands, coffee stands, an ATM. 
and a polar bear. All right, I will research the ball. That will make you a small wooden shelter here so you can have some place to hide. Because bears are pretty good money makers. Uh, we do need a couple more donation boxes, I feel. Oh, nope, there's one right there. What did I just pull up? Oh, okay. Extinct Research Lab. I don't need that. I do need a little bouncy, though. Let's try to get entertainment value on the zoo up. So I'll put that over here by the food. Small toy has been researched. Good. Alright, so whenever I'm able to get something to help the elephants with their pressing critical situation, I'm going to need to. So in the meantime, however, it is time to think about trying to expand the, uh, the popularity of the zoo. Now, keep in mind, I do have a huge Savannah exhibit. <coughs> so I could put some smaller animals like gazelles in here. Right. So yeah, I could put some gazelles in here. Increase the population quite a bit. So the only downside is for these apples are just horrible. I mean, there is this this thing. But it's not really the right... Tar pits are not really the right place for elephants. And that's just a holiday present involving an apple. So, again, pointless. Right, we're not going to do any of this extinct animals. Um, water buffalo. You are from Africa. I could put... Where are you from? Central Africa. I could put the water buffalo here. Could add a couple of them in here. In fact, I am going to. Just add two. I don't think it's going to press the space too much. Right. Uh, what do they eat, though? They eat grasses, grass and branches, and I do have a food trough with grass. Perfect. So that's a good exhibit. <coughs> okay, so that's that. So I don't need any more water buffalo. Um, a desert biome is also a good idea. Dia, eventually. Um, I could put two giraffes in there. Yes, we are going to. We have $4,000. So we're going to put two reticulated giraffes. I believe that is already filled with branches. It is. Um, and they can go with the salt lick. Or the apples as well. Which that is fine. Right. So how's everything doing? Guest happiness, animal happiness is going to go up eventually. Um, how are my kangaroos doing? What kind of shelter do you want? Just a shade tree. Okay. So that I'll build over here. <coughs> and so the food dish. Um. 
I'm just going to move over here because you're complaining about it. I'll clean up the poop myself. Don't worry, zookeeper. Bam. Alright, I'll groom. Clean. Groom. How are you guys doing? I wash. Wash. With the effort with the water, they are washing themselves, so I don't really think I have to worry about that too much. Alright. There's just that entertainment need. Like, a lot of them are pressing. So I, I just need something else. Something more permanent that they can just play with better than Apple. And I need to do it by April. Which I think is going to be plenty of time. Right, number of animals is fine. Really education. All right, education. Right. So yeah, we're we're doing good. Um, might even think about releasing some stuff to the wild. Gurus are good. I like those flamingos. I might just get rid, uh, get put those in the wild. But apparently that is a butterfly over a lake. That's fine, I guess. That polar bear is really raking in those donations, though. And the elephants as well. What do you mean can't reach it? Fine, I will put a gate, even though there is a gate. How about this? All right, can I purchase anything new? No. Hey. <clears throat> so I guess we're gonna put out more apples. For now. And what actually arose? Guess happiness. Right, I think uh, animal happiness is going up, so I think that's why. Um, what are you? What are you doing? Running from the hippos. Okay. It's fine. Alright, Zookeeper's doing his job, finally. Yeah, I just need to get this pressing entertainment need down. And the apples are just not doing it. Alright, the flamingo too is now pregnant. Good. Good, good, because then we could uh really consider releasing some animals to the wild. <coughs> alright, how are we doing the donations? You're doing alright. Probably mostly from the polar ooh, mostly from the elephant now. Okay, those are still mostly polar bear. A little for the giraffe. Do I not have a donation box here? 
No donation box for the kangaroos. Oh wait, right here. In a weird spot. So we're gonna move, actually move that. To here. Where people can actually get to it. <coughs> Alright, how is the donations doing for these? $80. Alright, we're not doing too bad in donations. We are into February. I need a two stars. I think once I get to a two star, two star zoo. Uh, what are you complaining about? Bathrooms. Well, I have one bathroom, but it's way over here. I could. And I think I will put a second bathroom here. Kind of help them out a little bit. That is a long way to go for a bathroom. I will concede that point to you. However, I do not have enough money yet. We will actually put it here. Bam. And you will need drink. And you're going to plan the bouncy ride. So I don't get why they just wouldn't connect those two. So I'm going to do that. Right. And then we're going to just get rid of those two fences. Then so people can have a path through there. I do like that. Put a wooden arch there, but... Not enough uh, fame in the zoo yet to do stuff like that. Hippo 1 is now pregnant. Which is fine. Uh, eggs have been laid. You're going to mate. With Flamingo 1. Now where are these eggs? There's one. I just want to know who the parents are. To tell me, uh, mate is one. All right, Greater Flamingo One just made with both of them. So after that, Mr. Flamingo One, you're out of here. I'm gonna release you to the wild, start getting some fame up that way, because I believe uh, there's another male. No, there is not. Well, all right then. I guess I'll keep you. All right. Everyone's lined up for the newly placed bathroom. Uh, there is a bunch of poop in this exhibit now. All right, I'll get... Down there and help you rake it out, zookeepers. There are apples everywhere. But it's just not enough to really keep them entertained. Okay. Bam. Right, what else do I need? Can I build a bigger food dish? No. That won't entertain you. So you think what like what naturally would entertain them? I mean surely it can't be just apples. Cause like even with eating those like it just doesn't do enough. <coughs> it's alright. Animal happiness shot up, educational exhibits is shot up. The animals are entertaining. Uh, what about you? Mr. Polar Bear. There you are. 
Uh, what can I do for you? Not much as of yet. Okay. There, you have more space. And everything is looking good there. Um, space may become an issue once all those kids start being born. It'll be fine. Um, right, I could also do some Thompson Gazelles in here. Uh, I think once I get $2,500, I think I will do that. Just add some more animal population. And make this, just keep expanding the exhibit. And there will be a lot of animals, so I think I am going to assign a zookeeper just for the Savannah exhibit. So, where are you? Yeah, I don't need both of you in that. So, your assignment, which you have no choice to accept, is that. And I'll also put you in charge of the bears. <coughs> the other zookeeper I will not assign, so he'll have more of a free roam of the area. Flamingo laid another egg. That's good. I don't need to see you anymore. Star and a half. I mean, at least the animals are happy. And I just, I can't keep buying apples to keep their entertainment needs down. I mean, I don't think there's anything. Salt lick won't help. There's really nothing else I could place in this event exhibit naturally that'll give them entertainment. How are these things doing? They're good on everything. So I do not need enrichment toys there. The bear just needs a companion because it's starting to get that need pressed. Uh, I do have a ball in here somewhere if you didn't lose it. There it is. So it can play with its ball. Kangaroos look good. Right. So yeah, just, I think once we get the two stars, uh, stars, I think then we could get a real item here for them, as well as some bigger food troughs. There we go. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's need a pause. There we go. Big ball. Here we will research the big ball. And we will put... Oh, that's grass. I think I want branches, though. It cost a lot, but it's worth it. Bam. Kangaroo 3 has given birth. That is good. Okay. Put that there. And I will... Eh. Kangaroo donations are pretty good. Alright, I just need that ball to research. Once I get that ball, I think this will be good. <coughs> then they'll be able to socialize. And then they'll be able to get their pressing. So I'm going to need a couple of them. Let's hope they're cheap. 320, yep. Perfect. I'll build two of them. Right. Okay, so now they should get their pressing needs taken care of. 
Uh, kangaroos are all getting pregnant at the same time, so we're going to have a huge kangaroo family. Which a lot just happened. Kangaroo gave birth. Water buffalo, or African buffalo pregnant. Root 3 gave birth. Laid an egg. Now what? Oh. Food dish of water. I don't need that. <clears throat> All right, so think thing with the pursuit ball. All right, it's starting to be taken care of. Yes, good. They are bringing themselves down. You're playing with the pursuit ball, I believe. No, you're actually going to pee. Gonna have a drink of water. <clears throat> Alright, the draft is pregnant. Let me go one, got stuck again. What a bastard. And we're down to $78, but I think once people start seeing them play with the ball and stuff, they're gonna give a lot more money. Mating call. Ah, they're mating. All right. Now, hopefully, that takes care of the stimulation. I would imagine mating does that. I mean, that would be nice. All right, the African elephants are getting their fair share of money. Right. As is the polar bear. Kangaroos, I don't think people are really interested in kangaroos. But it's still up there. And they are looking at these a little bit, but they're not major money makers like the other ones are. You're wallowing, you're standing. Uh, you also need to be washed, apparently. Okay. These kangaroos are... Ridiculous with their mating because another one is pregnant as is the African elephant excellent <coughs> All right, please tell me you're st no, of course not And I got these balls for you to get, take care of your stimulation need and you're not even playing with them. You're going to rest, resting. That one's really good. It has, whoa. A lot of money he's given to the polar bear. I am okay with that, however. Alright, please tell me you're playing with these balls. Going to drink water. Didn't you already do that? You're playing with the ball. Okay, is there anything else I can get? Apples, yeah. Soup ball seems to be the best thing for him. Need branches, gonna play with the ball. Gonna eat branches. I 
I mean, you're pre you're really pressing with that. Good old Flamingo 5 has hatched. It is good. I might drop down a few more apples. Just because it is also food, so... Investigating apple... How do you guys get stuck up there all the time? Irritating. You too, irritating. Kangaroos have given birth. That is fine. Alright, I really need to take care of the stimulation need. But, but they're still pressing. Like, it is hard to keep them happy. What do I need? Is it just... Is it just the basic needs? I see. I don't know if it's just the basic needs, if it's all their needs. If it's basic needs, I'm set. If it's all their needs, I'm going to be having trouble because they're not. Oh, perfect. We won. All right. You almost are here to stay. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it for today's version of Zoo Tycoon 2, Episode 7. If you guys like what you watch, please consider subscribing to my channels. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon and also on Twitter and Facebook. So I am yet 4455. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.